In this video we are going to talk about why octopus have 9 brains, 3 hearts and blue blood. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Our research has led us to discover some remarkable organisms, octopuses are among the most extraordinary critters we have come across. Everything is said in the title, these animals are really interesting. You should be prepared to have your thoughts twisted and turned in three different directions. Number 3. When you have nine brains, what are eight of them doing? Even though we know that octopuses are intelligent because they enjoy playing and employing tools, none of us can fathom the experience of having nine brains. It's important to note that because the central brain has a donut shape and forms a circle around the esophagus, when an octopus swallows, the food must pass through the brain. What a novel idea! Is this food for thought? The most interesting thing about them is that they each have a miniature brain in each of their arms. This results in a significant amount of distributed brain power. Given that each arm is equipped with a mini brain, the central brain only needs to communicate a higher level signal to the arm, such as move to the crevice for possible crab. In our case, our brain would direct and control each and every movement of our forearm. When an octopus probes into a crevice with its suckers, the arm acts almost independently of the rest of the body as it tastes and feels the contents. When we multiply this by 8 for 8 arms, we can see that the mini brains relieve a significant amount of strain on the central brain. Each arm is controlled by an intricate nervous system composed of more than 40 million neurons that are connected to the octopus's suckers on either side of it. Researchers discovered that 180 million neurons in the central brain are connected to more than 40 million neurons in each of the eight arms, resulting in a total of 180 million neurons in the central brain. One weird fact about octopuses is that they don't know where their arms are unless they can see them. According to the researchers, the arm is sending signals about taste and texture but not specifics about its location or orientation. Proprioception is the bodily ability that allows us to know where our arms are even when they are out of sight. It is one of the most important abilities we have. We can scratch our backs with pinpoint accuracy because we are aware of the position of our hand in relation to our back. Octopuses have not been deprived of the opportunity to learn this useful skill. They aren't sure where their arms are because they aren't sure where they are. An octopus's body shape is fluid and continually changing, therefore, we cannot hold a fixed map of our body in our brain, which is impossible for us to do. Another interesting topic about having eight arms coated with suckers is how they keep all of those limbs from clinging to each other and becoming tangled in a knot of their own making. This is especially true when kids are unsure of where their arms are located. It has been discovered that the octopus skin secretes a substance that prevents suckers from adhering to it. It appears to be necessary to avoid a tangled mess. Number 2. Three hearts. That makes sense given that their bodies are made entirely of muscle, with the exception of two tiny plates that serve as anchors for their heads and a beak that is used to capture and bite prey. Octopuses have three hearts, since two of them pump blood to the gills, and the third circulates blood throughout the remainder of the animal system. Number 1. True blue bloods have a thing for copper. Because many octopuses live in cold, deep waters, they've evolved to use a copper-rich protein called hemocyanin to oxygenate their blood rather than our iron-rich hemoglobin, which would otherwise be used. Their blood has a blue tinge to it, but our blood has a red tint to it due to hemoglobin. Because their copper-based blood is inefficient at transporting oxygen, octopuses prefer cooler, oxygen-dense water to live in. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.